Because future-looking statements are inherently subject to risk and uncertainty, our reminder is that you should make any purchasing decisions or investment decisions based on products that are currently commercially available. It is no secret that the way we are doing business and the way that we are working is changing. That being said, it has never been more important to fully equip our employees with the tools that they need to be successful no matter where they are. We all know how complicated it is to build custom mobile applications, especially using hard-coded methodologies that require very specific skill sets and not to mention the continuous maintenance that goes behind them. The cornerstone of the Salesforce platform is Lightning App Builder, where you can declaratively build applications once using a drag and drop interface and deploy it everywhere, whether that's desktop or mobile. Even though you're using a drag and drop interface, it is powered by the Salesforce platform, which is inherently intelligent, customizable, with the highest security measures already taken into consideration. I'm gonna send this over to my colleague and friend, Josh, who's gonna start building an application for us using Lightning App Builder. Hey, Josh, take it away. Thanks, Ryan. Again, my name is Josh Wischneier, and I'm a product manager on the mobile platform team here at Salesforce. And I'm really happy to be able to show you how we can build great mobile experiences with low code. So for today's demonstrations, we're going to be looking at Electron Motors. They build and sell customized electric vehicles, and they manage their entire process end-to-end -end on the Salesforce Customer 360 platform. Now, Electron Motors staff don't just sit at their desks all day. They can be in the showroom, on the factory floor, or even making deliveries to customers out in the field. So they really need a great mobile solution. So let's dive right in and take a look at some of the customizations they're making. So we'll start here on the detail page for a vehicle that's in progress. So we wanna add a component here that shows us the vehicle and allows us to customize it. So we can start by simply clicking on Setup and going to Edit Page to launch the Lightning App Builder. Now once here, I can scroll down and grab the Car Configurator component, which we've already built. We can go ahead and drop that right on our page where we want it. And there it is. So we can save this. And if we go back to our vehicle page, we simply need to refresh to see that appear. That's great. There it is. Now, the great thing about Lightning App Builder and the Salesforce mobile app is they work great together. So if we come and take a look at my device that I've got cabled up here, and I'm looking at that same record detail, I can refresh the page of my device, and we'll see that car configurator appear as well. So things that you build in the Lightning Application Builder for the desktop will just work on mobile. It will appear the way you expect. But that's not the end of the story. We can do things with Lightning App Builder that help us specifically tailor our mobile experience. So let's take a look at adding something else. Now, Electron staff are always fielding calls from customers eager for status updates about their vehicle. So this gives us an opportunity to show you how we can add a log a call component that's just for mobile. We can put this on the vehicle page and it won't show up in the desktop. So let's go back into the Lightning App Builder and I'll show you how we can grab a flow here. And we'll drag this over onto the page. And the flow we're going to select is log a call for vehicle. This is something that we've already created. So a few more things we want to do here. First is we'll check this box to make sure that any calls created are related to this vehicle. And now we're going to add a filter. And this filter is going to be for devices only. So we'll set that to device and form factor will equal phone. So when we're done with that, we can save it and come back to our device and refresh the page. So here we can see the log a call component has shown up, but it's just for mobile. And when a call comes in from one of our customers, we can simply enter the information, hit next, and we're good to go. So this is just a great example of how we can use Lightning App Builder and the Salesforce mobile app for really custom tailored mobile solutions. Thank you so much for getting that app started in Lightning App Builder, Josh. Like I mentioned before, the beauty of the Salesforce platform is that we're giving you the tools that you need to take an application that you've built and continue to innovate on it. So what else can we do to innovate on Josh's Electron Motors app? In times like today, clear and transparent communication is key to keep our teams and our partners informed and to keep them safe. Using Notification Builder, admins can create custom flows and alerts for their teams whenever they want to. 
hey, Josh, mind showing us how this is done? Hey, you got it, Ryan. Now, custom notifications are one of my favorite features. So let's take a look and see how they work. Now, we'll start here in Setup and scroll down to Notification Builder. And we'll click on Notification Delivery Settings. And here you'll see some of the standard notification types you may already be familiar with. Things like activity reminders, approval notifications, and even chatter notifications. But you may have more specific use cases. For example, Electron Motor staff wants to be alerted whenever a vehicle is completed and ready for delivery. So if we scroll down, we can see we've created a custom notification type for vehicle status. Now let's take a look to see how we can actually get these notifications sent. Now I'm going to show you how to send a custom notification from Process Builder. But it's also important to note that we can send custom notifications from Flow Builder and the REST API. But in this process, we've already got one partially started. You can see it's triggering off the vehicle object, and our criteria is the vehicle going into delivery status. At this point, we're going to perform a custom action, and that action will be to send a notification. So we'll click on Add Action, and we can see from our list of action types, we have Send Custom Notification. So from here, we just need to enter some of the information that's necessary for us to build that notification and get it sent. So first, we'll give this action a name. We'll alert the rep. We'll select the notification type. Here's that vehicle status type we saw a moment ago. This helps us with routing and determining which apps we're going to send this to. Next is the notification recipient. And we've got some interesting options here. We can send this to a specific user. We can send this to the owner of a record. We could send this to a group or even a queue. We also support account teams and opportunity teams if those are the objects we're working with. But in this case, let's select owner. And now we'll select find. So this interface may look pretty familiar. You've built some formulas in Salesforce where we're just grabbing related fields. So starting with the vehicle custom object, we're just going to grab owner ID and select choose. And now we're going to enter in a notification title. You can just add in some text. And now we're going to add some text for notification body. But here we can do something pretty cool. We can grab some merge fields. So maybe you want to grab the vehicle purchaser's name to make this notification dynamic. So we'll start with the vehicle and well, then we'll click on customer, just connecting the dots like we do with merge fields. And we'll find their first name, select choose, apostrophe S. And now let's grab the model name that they purchased. So we'll click on merge field again. And we'll grab model. Now this last item here, target object, this helps us determine where a user will navigate when they receive that notification and tap or click on it. If we're building a process builder, we use a fixed target. And that's going to be the record which started the process. But you do have some more flexibility if you're creating this notification in Flow Builder or via the REST API. So we'll go ahead and save this process and activate it. All right, so let's head back into that vehicle page and trigger the notification. Before we do, we'll want to slide the browser over so we can see it arrive on our device as well. So let's scroll down to our path component here and set this vehicle to ready for delivery. And there's our notification. See it show up right away under the bell. And we'll see it on our device as well. So as you can see, custom notifications are great. But up until now, they've only been available for the Salesforce mobile app. But we're happy to announce in the summer 20 release, Notification Builder will now be available for all custom apps. That goes for any app you want to build on our platform, especially those you build with our mobile SDK. So let's take a look to see how we would set that up. So we're going to come into a connected app screen. And for those of you who have built apps in our platform, you're probably familiar with this. Connected apps are how we allow an application into your org and control some of its permissions. So if I come in here to this connected app I have for an Electron Motors custom app, I click on Edit. And I can scroll down to the Notifications section. Now check this box to enable subscription to notification types. Here we can see that vehicle status notification type that we had created. And if we subscribe to this, and opt to send it as push and click save, 
our custom app is now able to receive that notification. Now, if we come back over into our notification delivery settings and scroll down to that notification type, we can see when we modify this that the Electron On custom app is now available in addition to the Salesforce mobile app. Now, custom notifications on custom apps are great, but not everybody has the resources to build and especially maintain a custom mobile application. And that's where Salesforce Mobile Publisher comes in. We can build you a custom branded version of the Salesforce mobile app that you can distribute on the App Store, and we'll handle all the maintenance. Let's take a look and see how this works. I'm coming into Setup here, and I'll simply click on Mobile Publisher. Now here we can see I have a publisher app for Electron Motors partially completed. As you can see, you only need to provide us some text and labels for the App Store, your colors and branding, app icons, and that's about it. We'll package everything up and give you an app that you can install and it'll look like something you built yourself. All right, what's next, Ryan? Now that is some super powerful functionality. And I, for one, am excited to see Notification Builder for custom apps launch this summer. Let's put some icing on the cake and add a little bit more functionality to this application. I'm gonna start by saying, we heard you. One of the most highly anticipated and sought after mobile experiences is coming your way. Let's talk about, drum roll please, custom offline experiences. For your employees that are on an airplane or those that are in the field with little to no connectivity, or maybe our electron motor friends who are on the factory floor, they all need access to transactional data that is unique to their job function. And this really should extend to any Salesforce powered application that your partners, customers, or employees happen to be using. Hey Josh, do you mind helping out our friends at Electron Motors by building them an offline briefcase? Sure thing, Ryan. Let's take a sneak peek at the briefcase capability we're building that will help you define which objects and which records you need to make available offline. So we can start here and set up and scroll down to a new node and label offline. We'll click on that and then click on briefcase. We'll then click on create a briefcase and we'll give it a name. This will be for our vehicle sales staff. Now we need to select some data. We'll first start by selecting an object. In this case, we'll go ahead and grab vehicles. And now we're gonna enter some criteria. So which vehicles do we want to use? So we'll use a simple filter. We'll say uh, delivery complete equals false. We just wanna store the vehicles that haven't yet been delivered to our customers. If we wanted, we could add additional filters, and this looks a lot like building out a report, so you should be pretty familiar with this interface, but we'll keep it simple for this example. We'll then go ahead and adjust the scope, so this would be just the records assigned to the user that's downloading the data set. And we want to make sure we don't bring too much data onto our device, so we'll choose what fields we want to order by and then truncate the data set. So here we'll take uh, order date order date descending. We'll keep the recent ones. We'll click next. And now we have the opportunity to assign this briefcase either to individual users or to groups. In this case, we'll grab the vehicle sales associates and everyone in that group will get this data set. We'll click next. We'll activate this now and we're good to go. All right, Ryan, you've got your data no matter where you are. Thank you so much for putting that briefcase together for me, Josh. Now I can access the data while I'm here at the Electron Motor shop floor where there's just about no connectivity, but I still need that information to get my job done efficiently and quickly. This is going to be a huge win for your customers, employees, and partners that are in remote locations like this where there is no internet access. Now that we're back up off the shop floor, I want to thank you again for joining us for building mobile experiences fast with Salesforce. To learn even more, I recommend visiting salesforce.com slash mobile, getting hands-on in Trailhead, and downloading the recently relaunched Salesforce mobile app for free in the App Store today.
Did you know that an ally is someone who doesn't identify as an underrepresented group, but seeks to understand the challenges that they face? At Salesforce, we've distilled becoming an ally into four practices. Ask, listen, show up, and speak up. Skilling up on equality makes our community stronger. Learn more on Trailhead and earn your Equality Allies Strategy Badge. We could all use a North Star right now to help navigate these times. Inspired, we created a web app that allows anyone to create a digital vision board to help guide you through these times and inspire you to thrive and emerge stronger. The app is called My North Star, and you can find it at mynorthstarapp.com. The experience is easy, fun, and takes less than five minutes. It allows you to add your vision for how you want to be during this time, the values you want to prioritize, the actions that will bring your vision and values to life, and finally, the photos that will inspire you. For every board posted on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook with hashtag MyNorthStar, we will make a donation to UNICEF, who are on the front lines helping families all over the world impacted by COVID-19. What does your North Star look like? 